the symbols we picked, we picked dot equals zero, one equals one, and x equals two, triangle equals three, one dot is a little big, but it's a dot equals four, Eleven, one one equals five, one x equals six, I'll go up to now I one triangle equals seven, x dot equals eight, x one equals nine, double x equals ten, x triangle equals eleven, triangle dot equals twelve, triangle one equals thirteen, and triangle x equals fourteen. Alright, so far multiplication. Excuse me. Addition go first. So right here we got the place values. You know how you do those. But one is always one. Oh, pardon me, excuse me. One is always one. Then this one is four because our base is four. Then four times four is 16. Then four times 16 is 64. Then four, then times 64 is 256. Four times 256 is 1024. And that's uno. That's right there. That's six decimal places. That's six places. Right. Table of place value, excuse me. Right here, it's an addition. You just do these regular, this added up to seven, so you throw down a three and you carry that one because that's a full set. Another one, that's four. You carry the one, that's a full set. Mm -hmm. mm. Then you go over here, that's 11. You gotta go over here, what's an 11? X and a triangle, that's a full set. Same for subtraction. 728 minus 425. Three, triangle, right here. Two, that's a dot, zero. That's three, three, full set. Pardon me. I explain them things. Alright, so we into the triangle. So we now have dot as a zero. So basically, we, everything is going to stay as zero. And then one is going to be one. One times dot is going to end up dot. And one is going to be remain one together. And it's basically going to follow the normal rhythm of multiplying by one. Everything is just going to repeat the number. And two, we end, two is x. So x times one would be x. And then x times since this is 2 and our base is 4, x times x is actually going to be 1 dot. And then x times 3, which is triangle, is going to be 1 x because we have 1 over. And then x times 1 dot, which is actually a full set, is now becoming two, 2 full sets. And what's actually very special is that when it comes to the full set, anything it's multiplied by, it just multiplies into an additional set. Like this is going to be 1 full set, 2 full sets, 3 full sets, 4 full sets, and then it keeps going over and over. And you actually realize we went to eight, so we get extra bonus points. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Appreciate that. Jesus, that looks. Uh, I need, I need all eight. that. I need Look, all that. that. That's eight. eight, aka twenty. Four, aka ten. Get it right. Get it right. Are you ready? All right. This is the multiplication and division <laughs> rules that we use to solve them things right here, mm. and the the same divisibility rule as two or x. Anything times zero or dot is still zero or dot since five or two ones, the answer will always be double symbols or four. Every multiple of four is a four and contains a dot in the ones place. And that's it.